silence. Feels wrong, doesn't it? Pausing. Feels long, doesn't it? Because when something or someone is placed in front of our face, we believe it is it or their responsibility to entertain. And if by chance that which positions itself in front of our glance does for one moment let our attention dance away from it, like a five-year-old girl who strikes up a ballet because she hears some music play over the supermarket store speakers that carries her away from choosing which sugary cereal she would prefer for the following day. Our attention spans are experiencing decay because we don't have to wait for that next colorful parade of streamers to stream across the digital page we carry with us at all times. That glowing leaf of paper that always seems to be saying something, but hardly ever gets around to saying anything at all. And when the call drops, or the text stops, or the posts are topped off because you've refreshed this page already, and there isn't anything new except that little loading circle that spins, and you wonder if that's what your life is doing too. We don't know how to stop loading, stop spinning, stop buffering our lives. We are stuck in the cycle of feeding our eyes. But what's the point in downloading so much onto the hard drive of our minds if we don't ever stop and ask, what's really going on inside? We need to press pause and get more comfortable with silence. Because if you couldn't handle those few seconds, then you'll never be able to see what's really going on when you close your eyelids. <laughs>